everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TTU World 2019. Thank you so much for being here. If you're live here with me on Twitch, really appreciate it. It's good to be back. And if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. And so guys, as you can see, um, we are going to be doing today um, quite a few decks. And Henry, thank you so much. Thank you so much for nine months in a row. Very, very kind of you. Thank you so much for the support. Um, team up is coming out on Thursday. I am planning on doing an extra long stream on Thursday in order to um, in order to celebrate team up coming out. Really looking forward to it. And in the meantime, these few days, um, we're gonna be reviewing some of the <clears throat> standard decks that I guess um, I never ended up reviewing before um that i never got around to doing um or covering because there was uh expanded big events and whatnot um team paul is like 16 months in a row thank you so much alex thank you so much that's very very kind of you thank you so much thank you so so much um the audio is a bit quiet let me get the microphone um much closer to me hopefully that's better jake thank you so much for letting me know um hey joe bro it has been a while um a lot of things have happened um i got pretty sick i got the flu but i got like a really intense <laughs> flu and then um i've been super swamped with a lot of coaching everyone wanted to do coaching with dallas and then i was sick and then it's been a crazy few days um or weeks rather it's been a crazy start to um to the year but hopefully um things should settle down a bit more and i should be able to get back on a much um a much more consistent schedule that was the plan for january but obviously um that was not the case and trip and Shroomish, thank you so much it's great to be back and so guys we are going to reviewing Solgalo GX. Um, this deck I never ended up reviewing it once the Solgalo promo came out because i didn't have it but they've been much better at um, granting me the promos in a more timely manner. And so I am really looking forward to um, trying out this deck. Of course, I've tried it out in real life. Um, it's a pretty solid deck for sure. Um, so yeah, we have the combination of the two Soul Galo GXs. The first one is the old one from Sun and Moon, 250 HP and its ability Ultra Road. Once you're in your turn before your attack, you may switch your active Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon. So a free switch every turn, really nice, especially against sort of mill decks and whatnot. And then we have Sunsteel Strike dealing 230 damage. And you discard all energy from this Pokemon. So <clears throat> not that big a deal because we do have the other Zotalic GX to repower, to repower ourselves up. And we also have Soul Burst GX which allows us to search our deck for up to five energy cards and attach them to our Pogo in any way we'd like. So a really good combination of um, attacks in Solgaleo GX and the other Solgaleo, which we'll take a look at in just a second. But 230 is a really good number. Um, once team up hits, it's actually not gonna be good enough um, because all the team ups actually have uh, more than 230 HP. The lowest, which is Pikachu and Segram, I think, um, has 240, so Mimikyu and Gengar might have the same 240. Um, yeah, I think that's right. So 230 comes up just a little bit short. We do have Delmite to increase that to 240, but then we're not KOing things like Selvi and Venus or GX. Now we have the other Solgalo GX, the promo, which took a very long time to get released in North America as opposed to its Japanese counterpart. The ability Shining Main, our Pokemon in play have no weakness, meaning our matchup against um Blacephalon decks get significantly better and improved and then we have turbo strike dealing 120 damage and we get to attach two basic energy cards from our discard pile to one of our benched pokemon so a lot of synergy between the two soul gallows one deals a lot of damage the other covers a weakness and supports by reattaching energy and then prominence gx heals all damage from all of your pokemon now this gx is really great against um Against decks that, for example, um, Buzzcar try and rely on dealing a little bit of damage, a little bit of chip damage um, consistently or continually through the use of Shrine of Punishment. But 
Prominence GX uh, negates that, and it's definitely not a matchup where you're just gonna want to soul burst GX with the other Solgaleo as quickly as possible to have one KOs on the big attackers. Now we have a 2 2 line of uh, a lot of 9 tails GX in order to support the deck. Mysterious Guidance is a really good ability. Uh, once you evolve a lot of Bullpicks into 9 tails, you get to search for 2 items. Most of the time it's gonna be things like Rare Candy and Time Roll, or even 2 Rare Candies to be able to set up Soul Galios. So really nice ability there, uh, makes stage to decks a lot more consistent and then the attacks, no event or sublimation GX, we're not going to be able to use them because we don't have any rainbow energy or fairy energy, but it could be something to consider in the deck, especially because one damage counter here and there would not be that big of a deal. Thanks so much for the follow. Hey Pokesers, I am doing well, thank you, how about yourself? And next up we have the 212 line of Swampert, we are not going to be attacking with Swampert this time around, unlike in Cardivore GX decks. But um, the ability power draw is just a really good ability to have. You discard a card, you draw three, slightly better than Zorak's trade. Um, definitely more difficult to get out. And Rafa, thank you so much, Ruben. Thank you so much for the 500 bits. Very, very kind of you. I am doing very well today. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the bits. Very, very kind of you. How are you doing? Thank you so much. And so we have Swampert for support. We have the Tiro Prism Star, which can become Cosmo and Marsh Stop, or more likely a Lola Ninetales, but it gives us that flexibility. <coughs> we have the Delmice, the one of Delmice, which with its ability Steel Worker, our metal Pokemon do 10 more damage. Now, the main reason for Delmice is so that Promotal Gallows Turbo Strike actually deals 130, which is enough to knock things out like Delmices, like Baby Puzzles stuff like that oh the music was too loud you guys didn't tell me rafa thank you so much for the other 600 m ms this time first we got some bits now we got some m ms thank you so much rafa thank you so much very very kind of you to support the channel i really do appreciate it it's great to be back and so um we also have to double lately, of course, for draw support. Hello, Jedi. It has been a while indeed. Um, it's been over two weeks since I last streamed, so I'm really excited. I'm really happy to be back with you guys. Um, next up, we have um, our supporter lineup, which is very simple and very straightforward for um, Professor Elm's lecture so that we can set up. That's our ideal turn one supporter. And then we have a single Lily, four, uh, three Cynthia, and three Kuzma. So. We're focused mostly on setting up. Luis, thank you so much. Five months in a row. Thank you so much for the support and for subscribing, guys. I really appreciate it. Um, this M&M counter should be going up. The M&M challenge is still um, going on. So, so far, it's obviously not very challenging. And I was thinking that in order to make it even more interesting, I should make it times three, right? Because I did miss quite a few days of streaming. Um, I'm going to triple the amount, whatever amount of subscribers I do, I'm going to record myself live or do a live stream or I eat, um, the number of subscribers on Twitch I have, um, in M&Ms, but multiplied times three. Yeah. I actually forgot to, uh, to change that before I started the stream. Um, so yeah, it should, uh, it should be for, it should be good for a funny video or whatnot. Um, and then finally, items wise, we have four Ultra Ball, four Rare Candy to help us in setting up Dual Max Potion because um, these Pokemon are really hard to take down and we don't mind um, healing them because we're gonna take a turn to recharge anyways. Double Timer Ball so that we can search for our evolutions. Double Brooklet Heal to set up Vulpixes and Mudkips and serve as counter stadiums. And then finally, 13 Energy Total, one Super Boost which can pull off which can allow us to pull off a Solgaleo GX attack out of the blue, three DCs so that we can use Turbo Strike continually, and finally nine basic metal energy so that we can keep loading up our Solgaleo GX. So that rounds out the deck. Let's jump into the, some games whilst we chat and catch up in, um, in chat. So thank you guys so much for being here. You made a fun Tapu Vini deck Jedi with Karkzara and Aganadel. Okay, I can see how that uh, allows you to snipe continually. That sounds like a pretty cool idea. Um, what are the decks for today? The decks for today are Solgalo GX, then we're gonna move on to Glacian Vaporeon, 
and Jolteon EX. Yeah, two of the new Evolution GX promos. Um, gonna be using two of those, and then I'll probably only have time to do three decks today. But the other two decks I prepared are Passimian, uh, Tapu Gogo Spread, which has been gaining some traction lately in Cubs, and it won a special event in Argentina. And then finally, a um, the the CDI Porygon Z deck by uh, Pedro Torres which should prove to be a nice deck to play. Now, this is a pretty solid hand, honestly. Um, we are lacking the evolutions, but there is a lot of potential in this hand. Um, Jurgen, my vacation was pretty awesome, honestly. Thank you so much for asking. My vacation was pretty, pretty cool. Okay, so Ditto becomes Ninetales right oh we're up against our metal deck counterparts but meter tempest will not be enough to get knockouts whereas we will be able to get knockouts um okay so i definitely think i need triple cosmog here right triple cosmog ditto brooklet heal mm. but then i'm gonna rely 100 percent on swamp birds so i might want to actually be good next turn yeah, I'm gonna go for these three. It's just I might need a turn to beat them. No, I'll just go for Quadruple Cosmog. And then I'll set up Swampert and we'll see how it goes from there. Max Potion is gonna be useless, so I definitely have that card to, to get rid of easily. I will also Brooklet Heal. It shouldn't benefit my opponent too much. Um, it's gonna be a trade of one hit chaos, more likely than not. So we're not gonna be too, too hard pressed to um, counter his Stadium. Because as long as our deck flows, we should be okay-ish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and attach an energy, and then I will pass. So pretty solid, pretty strong start. We'll see how our next turn develops. Uh, we might end up relying on a timerable head slip, which is never ideal, of course. Never ever ideal. Or I could just go for the safe full trouble as well. We'll see. We'll see. Um, Tribune how and how do you feel about the viability of Venusaur in team up format? I actually think it's gonna be a pretty, a pretty strong deck. Um, obviously it has a glaring weakness to plus Cephalon and that's probably gonna hold it back. But outside of that, um, I do think it's a pretty powerful deck with a lot, a lot of potential. Um, okay, I definitely have to set up Swampert here, right? Um, yeah, I think I might have been too eager with the Quadruple Cosmog. One of the Cosmogs should be a Vulpix, especially if I flip Double Tails there, which thankfully I did not. Um, but if I flipped Double Tails there, I would have been in a lot, a lot of trouble. So probably going for a Beacon Vulpix instead of the fourth Cosmog, which is not really doing much for us right here, might have been a better idea. Okay, so this hand is solid. I don't expect, off of four cards, hmm. Do I expect my opponent to go break any magnet zone and knock out my Cosmog? I don't really, so I'm gonna commit another energy to a Cosmog so that perhaps I don't have to rely on the GX attack to power up. And I get an Ultra Wolf, which is nice. Now I'm guaranteed as a little Gala next turn and possibly two prizes. We'll see. We'll see how this develops. Um, Uncranet could also work in my favor as well a little bit. And there's a Cynthia, so my opponent needs rare candy magnezone and energy to punish our greedy play. There's a rare candy magnezone off of the lone Cynthia. And we're gonna see the magnetic circuit. So we get punished for our greedy play. We do lose the two metal energy. It's not that big of a deal. Um, purely because we just get them back um, really I mean just ripping raw rare candy the three specific cards my opponent needed um, was definitely not an easy thing for him to do but he gets it anyways okay epic dust gathering indeed um, so as I was saying I think Selby and Venus are actually gonna be a pretty viable um, deck to use, I can never want to give up Magnus, right? So I'm gonna start off with, uh, this, yeah, I'm gonna power draw a Metal Energy. 
I mean at DC because I can just get it back, right? And now I am, oh, I can Mount Coronet, the two medals, and then just discard them. That's pretty nice. I need to remember that. And then, okay, so I think my plan here is to set up this Soul Galio, the promo Soul Galio, and then Guzma KO the Dialga, because the Dialga is actually a pretty big threat to my whole deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, I'm missing the Delmais. Oh, I'm missing the Delmais. I'm missing the Delmais. I completely forgot. I'm 10 damage short. I am actually 10 damage short. Rafa, wow, thank you so much for the extra bits. Thank you so much. Very kind of you. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Rafa, your Amazon Prime is sub is not working um you now have the m&m which you didn't have before let me check ah, i forgot i didn't have the delmice i was 10 damage short and hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt yeah i don't have a notification yet for that um, okay there it is oh and realgames.ca also subscribed so let me send those there's your notification, Rafa. Thank you so much for resubscribing. Very kind of you. And realgames.ca, same thing. I thought I sent the notification again. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. It's not letting me. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so the stadium is going to be useful for sure. The stadium is definitely going to be useful. My opponent is running Lady. Okay, so to say we are in trouble would be the understatement of the year. And I do agree with my opponent in that that Magnus on deck is definitely the superior metal deck. Dialga just gives you so many options and turn back time is such a powerful attack. Um, thoughts on the new Incineroar, the Pokestores? I think the new Incineroar GX is going to be really good once we get... <clears throat> Greninja and Sora GX tag team. Uh, before that, it's probably a binder card. It shouldn't be very expensive, but getting it now before... Oh my, is he really? Wait, what? Why wouldn't you knock out with Dialga? Does he have a choice then? What? <clears throat> I think my opponent is making a huge misplay here, unless he has a choice band in his hand. Um, that is really weird. <clears throat> Do I think any tag team GX will be tier 1? I definitely think. Um, why would you retreat and then reattach? Dialga gave him knockout. Oh my gosh, he has the beast energy as the last card in his hand. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? That Cynthia gave my opponent everything he could have wanted okay i'm definitely not gonna win this game so i'm just gonna give it to my opponent um <laughs> incredible draws by my opponent just absolutely nuts everything he could have wanted he got um and so i do think pikachu and Zekrom is going to be tier one and synergy x like i said um get it now while well, it's cheap once the set releases i expect it to be like a two or three dollar card and then afterwards, uh, Greninja and Zork GX will be out, and then perhaps then it'll be useful. Um, I declare war el decklist. Eh, lo puedo mostrar al final del video si gustas. Eh, es un deck que hice yo de la nada. And yeah, I think um, Temir, Pikachu, and Zekrom GX is going to make Lightning decks tier one. Not for sure, but very likely. <clears throat> I also think uh, Turbo Ray is going to be pretty powerful with the addition of Tapu Robo Prism Star and Shaman Prism Star for sure. Definitely, definitely, um, definitely thinking that's going to be the case. And now we're up against a Lightning type deck. <clears throat> okay. Timer Roll is a pretty solid card to have. So I think the only cards I can get rid of here are the Delmice and the Marsh Dump. 
right? We are going first. Now, it's going for Lily better than Elms in this spot. I think it might be, honestly. <clears throat> I think it might be better to go for a Lily here. Um, because Elms would leave us very vulnerable and would leave us in a very slow setup situation. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna go ahead and Lily. And we get a timer ball. I mean, we get a Brooklet heal, which is nice because it can get us Vulpix. And the Vulpix, I mean, the timer ball can get us Ninetales, and the Ninetales can get us Soul Galio, right? <coughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, your friend is doing an Incineroar GX all on Ninetales deck, and it kind of works. I mean, yes, if your plan is to use Incineroar GX, but I think it's going to be much better when Zorg and Greninja comes out. Or at least that's what I've seen from Japanese tournament results. <clears throat> the Scarlet Jack. Yeah, this is kind of a Soul Gallo box, I guess. Um, okay, so my opponent is, in fact, using a... Um, is in fact using a Ninetales Lightning type of deck. Um, he does feel blow away my Brooklet, so no mudkip for us next turn. Probably doesn't have much else though. Yeah, there's the, the concession. So my opponent's setup was not looking great. Um, we weren't going to do like a one kill or anything next turn, but. We, as long as we flip one hex, we were in an okay-ish spot. We were in an okay-ish spot. <clears throat> you, uh, you bought two Magikarp Whalers today, real game sets here. Yeah, I think um, Blastoise is going to be a pretty solid deck uh, to use in Expanded. <clears throat> and Daniel Davis, he just builds their Jolten GX, there are GX, have a little bit GX. I do think it could be viable. I don't think that's going to be better than Pikachu and Sekrom, um, which is about to be legal for tournaments. But Jolteon Zero Hour Tapu Goku is actually uh, the deck that I'm planning on using next after this Soul Gallo deck. So <laughs> we'll see how good it actually ends up being, or if my <coughs> or if my um, <coughs> or if the deck just comes up a little bit short okay we're going first again we have the elms but we don't have oh there we go never mind i was gonna say we don't have a follow-up to that but now we do so definitely want cosmog and modkip and then i'm gonna brooklet heal for the vulpix um the resource management drawing guru might indicate that we're up against a sort of sylvian deck perhaps which would not be ideal i definitely want vulpix not modkip i only have a modkip out and so i'm gonna go ahead and attach energy no reason not to and we are good to go <laughs> <coughs> tamir i see you subscribe to trigger gym that's nice uh do you think pokemon communication will improve standard probably probably um it will give decks more options to search for the right pokemon other than ultra Ball. and we're actually up against Gramble here, so the promos of Galio should be enough to close out the, this game, honestly. Um, okay, Jurgen, thank you so much for the 200 bits. Very, very kind of you. 200 MMs, rather. <laughs> thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for the support, Ruben and Jurgen. Thank you so much, and to everyone who has subscribed before now. Um, as you can see guys, uh, the m, &M challenge still going on, I know, um, <clears throat> I wasn't very active in January, but I'm hoping to change that for February, and, um, I decided to triple the amount of m and um, so that, uh, because 80 m and is not a real challenge, for me at least, 120, now that's something, <laughs> um, real games, is Mexico a special event in Mexico City? Yes. It is. It's in the city center, in fact. Okay, so my opponent already with Doubler and Guru, a single Slogma. 
The max potions should be the cards that really come in handy against my opponents. And now we start applying pressure already with um, Solgaleo, that would have been nice. Unfortunately though, we get the wrong Solgaleo. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and be good now. And I'm going to grab nine tails, definitely. And I'm gonna grab the promo Soul Gallo. So here's the thing: if my bolt picks goes down, I still have Rare Candy into this Soul Gallo, which is going to be the main attacker this time around. If I don't lose the full picks, then um, I can probably set up double Soul Gallo if I wanted to get that free switching um, going. And I can even Kuzma KO this. I mean, no matter what, I can Kuzma KO this Mac Cargo, right? So. We're in a pretty good spot, I would say. And then my opponent just immediately passes. So Volpix survives. Um, definitely want to grab another Rare Candy. Right? And perhaps a Timer Ball? So I can get Marsh Dump and or Cosmon going? Yeah. Definitely focusing on Marsh Dump here. And definitely going to go after the Macargo. Double Tails means I'm not going to get either or. <laughs> um, I might just save this Rare Candy for now. Um, because if I get Swampert, I'd really rather have Swampert than the Ultra Road at this point. And I'm just gonna go ahead and KO the, my cargo. I have one energy in the discard pile, which is nice. I'm gonna go ahead and Turbo Strike for the KO. And load up. The Cosmog. Now next turn, I will most likely be doing Rare Candy into Solcalio and then playing a Cynthia. The Timer Wolf from the prize is actually very nice because that allows me to set up the Swampert potentially. And we'll see how this moves on. We'll see how this moves forward. Okay. So we see an Ultra Wall. <clears throat> we see a Benched Slug. Now we see a Gramble. And now my opponent relies on Double Instruct in order to get a fairy energy and his hand down to zero cards. Although that's not as important as long as you're two hit killing this old Galio, right? But he also did have to discard off the Ultra Wall the second my cargo, and he's already played all four Ultra Walls, in fact. So that's going to be pretty detrimental for him. He does find the Plumeria, so he does bring his hand down to zero, he does get an energy, and he goes all out for his 30 damage, which is nothing too impressive. And so, ooh, I get double rare candy as a top deck, so <clears throat> Timer Ball doesn't overcompensate for us not having the, um, the two, I mean, for us getting double tails on the previous turn. Which is not very nice, but it's not a big deal. And I'm just wondering if I should work any into this old Galio using up my third work candy, or if I ju should just be patient and try to get another of these old Galios. I think that's gonna be the better idea. Um, which I do in fact get, and I get a counter stadium, so things are looking pretty nice. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is power draw, um, rather than ultra ball. That way I get more targets to potential ultra ball, and that is indeed the case. Um, I mean, do I even need to ultra wall since I got the thing? So I can save that rare candy. I did get energy, which is awesome. It's definitely something I need. Uh, the counter stadium is also pretty great. And the brook that heal, I think second swampert is definitely a good idea to set up if I can. And so we're going to go ahead and turbo strike now. We get another knockout. This soul gallo has already been cost effective. It's a GX that gives up to prices, but it has already taken to prizes itself. And Jordan, have I ever played against Mahone? Yes, I have. I have played twice against Andrew Mahone at um, tournaments. I have played twice against him. The first time was at uh, Hartford Regionals. I was playing Cardinal Sylvian GX. He was playing the CDI. The CDI GX with a Lola Ninetales GX, the water type, of course, and we ended up tying that time. And then afterwards, we played at Memphis, um, like right when Buzzle GX had just come out. We were both playing Buzzle GX Rock, and we tied again. Um, that day, on day one, he was my only tie. I ended up um, going eight wins and one tie. 
and he was my only tie. Everyone else I beat except him. Um, okay, so no rush in setting up the other. Uh, so Gallo, I am eliminating my opponent's only threat here. Right, so I just take the knockout and this should be game, right? There's no recovering from here. This whole Gallo has already been cost effective. It's a GX that has taken three prizes. Nothing threatens it at all for next turn. I have a Guzma to prevent my opponent from um, trying to stall me out or anything. I also have um, <laughs> the Enhanced Armor is not really a big deal. I also have the other Soul Gallo to make sure that um, a Guzma stall is not going to be a threat. And I don't think it's an awful Grumble list. It's just it just so happens that he had to waste the four Ultra Balls <clears throat> early on, and my opponent also went crazy. Like he started this Orange Guru, and he also benched the other two, right? And the Blitzel and Slogma. So he has very few spaces for uh, for his Nobles. He's gonna go into Resource Management mode, but. Thanks to this ability, I'm never going to be in a spot where I cannot attack, right? It's just going to be price after price after price every single turn, and there's nothing my opponent can do to stop that. If I were a 4 of Promotal Gallo deck, then perhaps, but that is actually, in fact, not the case. Um, so yeah, twice I've played against my home, twice we have tied, funnily enough. Gonna go ahead and attach energy here. I'll go ahead and evolve into this old Galio, then I'll use my ability. Um, I think the one Pokemon I do want to KO is um, this Oranguru to stop him from using too many resource management. I don't want to goose my thing, it saves me in case something happens to this old Galio JX's ability, although I don't see what could possibly happen. And this should be game. Yeah, this should be 100% game. And there's a victory indeed. Okay, so the deck is setting up decently well, uh, but I think the game we had against Magnus Home is definitely big time proof that um, this is an inferior metal deck. Yeah, I do believe Magnus Home with Dialga is just such a powerful deck. Um, yes, this deck gets one in chaos. The other deck does as well, but the other deck doesn't rely on having that one turn, that one awkward turn in between to reload. So you're essentially doing two hit chaos, not necessarily one hit chaos. Yes, your Pokemon have higher HP. Yes, your Pokemon um, are more uh, durable, but um, the other deck is just a lot, uh, a lot more straightforward and um, aggressive. So yeah, guys, um, I think that's gonna be it for Soul Galo GX. I'm really itching to play both Jolton GX and Glacian GX with Porion GX. So we're gonna be moving on to that. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel. And if you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. I will be right back in just a second.